Thank you for watching and goodbye your work videos. In this lecture, we will continue to talk about transportation. Now we will learn how to create transportation shipment document. You can create individual shipment documents or use a collective processing option. Follow the path SAP menu, logistics, logistics execution, transportation, transportation planning, create, and create single documents. On the selection screen, Specify the transportation planning point, specify the shipment type, and press on Select Deliveries button. One or more deliveries can be added to the shipment. We will try to add only one outbound delivery. As an example, our outbound delivery document added to our transportation and press on overview of current shipment. The document status is updated on completion of every step of the process. Here we can see our statuses such as planning, checking, loading start, loading end, shipment completion shipment start and shipment end. So we can first define our shipment route. Optional you can define driver, second driver, vehicle, trailer or forwarding agent. And we can check our statuses such as planning, checking, loading start, loading end, shipping completion. And we can change our time. After that, we can save our document. This is transaction for individual processing of shipment documents. On other session, I can show you the transaction that allows collective processing for creating shipment documents. So go to logistics, logistics execution. Transportation, Transportation Planning, Create, and click on Collective Processing or Collective Processing in background. On Selection screen you can specify a variant for selection of delivery documents that are due for shipment. Specify a meaningful description and name for your variant and click the maintain option to create it. For example, test. This will take you to a screen similar that what we see when we edit our outbound deliveries to shipment document. So here we can select our shipments. Save your variant and click on back. After executing transaction, you will see your variant. 
and you can choose here your statuses. Now we'll talk about configuration of transportation shipment documents. The main steps in configuration of the shipment documents are maintain transportation relevance, setting up transportation planning points, defining shipment types, defining transportation zones, and defining and assigning activity profile. Now we'll talk about the first step, maintain transportation relevance. To select the relevance for our business processes, you need to go to Transaction SPRO, click on SAP Reference IMG, go to Logistics Execution, Transportation, Shipments, Maintain Transportation Relevance. There are three activities listed here. Follow the sequence and select the relevance of the following. Delivery types, delivery item types and routes. Delivery type. You can choose standard delivery type and we see that this is relevant for transportation. Click on delivery item types and choose your delivery item and ensure that this item category relevant for transportation. Choose your route and be sure that this is relevant for transportation. Next step in customization is setting up transportation planning points. After you decide on transportation relevance, you need to configure the organizational elements that look after transportation. The shipment documents are created for transportation planning point. Next step, we have successfully created our transportation planning point when we created our organizational structure. So we can move to the next step. And next step is define shipment type. To configure the shipment type document, follow menu paths, logistics execution, transportation, shipments, define shipment types. You can create new shipment type as a new entry or as copy as a reference. Define a four character alphanumeric code and description for your shipment type. We will see here a lot of fields and first step, number of systems. On this step, you can specify an internal and external number range for the shipment documents that will be created. This is identical to any other number range settings that we covered earlier. Document content. Perhaps this is the most important tab that defines the shipment type in detail. The following are some of the important settings on this step. Shipment completion type. This field, shipment completion type, specifies the type of shipment being created. You can specify whether it is an outbound or 
inbound delivery shipment and whether it is filled or empty. Shipping type field. This field signifies whether the shipment will be by road or air or air or any other means of transport. Process control field. This field process control defines the way the shipment will be planned. The options here are as follows. Individual shipment with single mode of transport, individual shipment with multi mode of transport, collective shipment with single mode of transport, and collective shipment with multi mode of transport. Next important field lack indicator. In the field lack indicator, you can specify whether a lack is a direct lack or a shipment, or whether it is a primary lack, main lack. Or, or subsequent lag of a transportation chain. If you select direct lag or return lag, the entire process will be carried out in a single shipment document. However, if you specify primary lag, may lag or subsequent lag, it will be a transportation chain with multiple shipments interlinked to complete the shipment. You can also specify the transportation type of the preliminary and subsequent legs through the fields shipment type, preliminary leg and subsequent shipment type. Determine legs. Using the field determine legs, you can select a rule. Based on this, the system then tries to structure the legs of the shipment. For example, if you choose type 1, legs determined according to departure point and itinerary. For a collective shipment, leg determination will be carried out on the basis of the sequence of departures and destinations. In other words, as seen the two deliveries in a shipment, both originate from the same shipping point. The first delivery is being sent to a customer in New York, just for example. The other is being shipped to New Jersey, which is near New York. The first leg of the journey is from Los Angeles to New York. After the first delivery is offloaded at the customer's location, the subsequent leg is from New York to New Jersey, with the second delivery only. In the shipment document, if you click Leg Determination, the system will check the points of origin and destination of each delivery and automatically propose the stages of the journey. You can override or modify the proposal manually. Note that leg determination is not an optimization algorithm, rather it is a simple tool to help create legs on the basis of rules that you specify. Save your shipment type and save transport request. So we create our shipment type and talk about some very important fields in the shipment document type. And now we are ready to the next step. Define and assign activity profile. You can use activity profiles to define which actions are to be performed once a shipment reaches a particular status. For example, once the shipment reaches completion status, the system should perform the goods issue activity for each of the constituent delivery documents. There is a provision to attach different activity profiles for each status of the shipment. To maintain and assign the activity profile, follow menu paths, logistics execution, transportation, shipment, Define and assign activity profiles. Select your shipment type. The last step in customization is define and assign activity profile. You can use activity profiles to define which actions are to be performed once the shipment reaches a particular status. For example, once the shipment reaches completion status, 
The system should perform the goods issue activity for each of the constituent delivery document. There is a provision to attach different activity profiles for each status of the shipment. To maintain and assign the activity profile, follow IMG path, logistics execution, transportation, shipments, and click on define and assign activity profiles. Here you can select your shipment document. And you can choose here existing profiles. For example, profile with distance and goods issue. Save your transport request. As you can see, there is a lot of configuration here. Dialog box for fast entry during setting of status. Easy lock during save of shipment. You can use do not issue lock checkbox or issue lock if errors or warning occur. Always issue after save. We will choose issue lock if errors or warning occur. Past goods issue for delivery shipment. You can see here options like no goods issue posting, carry out goods issue posting during save. Carry out goods issue posting in background. We will choose carry out goods issue posting during save. Further functions when saving shipment. We can choose from carry out billing or general delivery item for HUS. We will choose both of these fields blank. Print output after save tab. We will see here sections like messages about shipment, messages about shipment handling units, messages about delivery, messages about delivery handling units, messages about invoices. After completion all necessary settings, you can save changes. And Save your transport request and go back to the main screen. So you have successfully learned how to configure transportation shipment documents. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos.